I'm Priya with First Weekend Club, and we're here with director Peter Wellington from the new Canadian film Cottage Country. Welcome, Peter. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Uh, Cottage Country is written by a very good friend of mine. Well, you know, I mean, I haven't seen him in years, but I still consider him a very good friend, Jeremy Boxen. How did this film get to you? Uh, I was just sitting around minding my own business, mm -hmm. and uh, the producer, Frank Syracuse, called me up, and he said, uh, I have a script. Maybe you'd like it. Maybe you, maybe, maybe we'll hire you to direct it if, uh, if, if you... Somebody else doesn't beat you to it. Right. So that. I, I read it and I was um, shocked. I was shocked. I thought it was perfect. I thought it was, I thought, I thought it was the perfect movie for me to direct. Perfect. Yeah, well, perfect for me to direct because it was uh, funny in a way that uh, I thought was uh, really nasty. And the violence uh, was unexpected and really imaginatively rendered. And I thought, okay, this is perfect for me. I get to be just as uh, transgressive as I want, and at the same time without people thinking I'm a bad guy. Insights into the character of Peter Wellington. Hmm. Now, this film has a very interesting uh, twist. It, it takes that whole idea of horror that happens when you go to a cabin in the woods. It's funny that that's a, such a thing, isn't it? That bad things happen in the cabins in the woods. But then, there's a bit of a twist. What can you say about that without giving it away? A twist. That, you already said bad things. There's there's a good. There's no good twist. <laughs> if that's what you're saying, like a surprise happy ending, not exactly. Uh, Comedy ensues. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you mean the twist is that it's funny? Uh, no, that starts out funny, then it gets really horrible, which is funnier. That's right. what happens. Yeah. It, it's like something happens to these characters where they kind of have no choice but to go down a dark path. Right. Well, yes. They. That, right. Yes. They. They aren't bad people. We don't think. The, the idea is what happens when good people do terrible things? Mm -hmm. What happens in, with our lead character, uh, Todd, played by Tyler Labine, and unlike his uh, wife, uh, Cammie, played by Malin Ackerman, is he's really not cut out for being, uh, having been a, um, uh, what do you call it when you uh, kill your brother? Oh Something God. aside. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Fratricide. Fratricide. So That's he's not cut out for being a, an arch criminal. He's, in fact, a nervous wreck, and he's unable to hold it together. She, much cooler customer, sociopath, just wants to uh, have a nice, perfect life. She's not going to let something like this get in, in the way of her plans for marriage and motherhood and what have you. So they have to cover up the crime, and that's when the body count did. Maybe as a woman, I'd just like to say that maybe another way of looking at it is that as a woman, she just, things need to get done and somebody's got to do it. Yeah, well, yeah, she gets things done. He doesn't, she does. She's uh, so, you know, it, it's a feminist film. I, I believe so. And it's coming out very soon in a theater near you. It's playing in it's Toronto. It's a theater near you specifically if you live in Toronto, Montreal, Calgary, or Vancouver. That's it. For more details, visit our website, firstweekinclub.ca. Thanks.